welcome back to Tech Tube. Now the top 20 cell phone countdown from Mobile World Congress continues. So let's see the hot cell phone launches from number 12 to number 6. At number 12 is the Motorola Z10. This slider phone featuring a 3.2 megapixel camera is the perfect answer for all you YouTube fanatics and wannabe filmmakers. It can capture video at 30 frames per second. And that's not all. Those very videos can be edited along with effects all on the phone itself. And one touch publishing two on high speed data means this is a roving film unit. Every event we've been to of late has some company or the other touting its phone as an Apple iPhone killer. This time around it was no different with the Samsung F490 trying to take that mantle. The fact that it doesn't even come into our top 10 tells you what we think of it. It's a nice phone overall, a 3.2 inch TFT touchscreen, no keys except for the call accept and call reject buttons, a 5 megapixel camera which can capture video that easily puts the iPhone to shame and a very nice form factor. This is one slim phone and has some basic features like a 3.5 mm jack which we wished more phones included. But on the whole, no way we'd buy this over an iPhone. Starting off the top 10 is the Samsung G810i. Let's tell you the most irrelevant feature first. It's 3G compatible, useless for us in India. But what we love is the 5 megapixel camera with more importantly optical zoom. That's right, 3x optical zoom and lots of other digicam like features such as image stabilization, a full fledged Xeon flash, panorama photographs and the included GPS means that the latest craze geotagging that we talked about earlier can be done on this as well. The 2.6 inch screen means that it is one hell of a camera to buy apart from the fact that it's a full fledged smartphone. At number 9 is the Nokia 6220 Classic. This phone features a 5 megapixel camera and GPS functionality, which means images and videos can be snapped, geotagged, edited, and shared online or phone to phone. Forget browsing the streets for an internet cafe. You can now update blogs, photos, and videos to sharing sites straight from the phone thanks to its high speed data connectivity, which of course uh, we don't see coming to India for a while, but we could always wish. The internal memory on this is take a guess. 8 GB, that's right, 8 gigabytes, and this is expected to launch in India by the end of 2008. We're expecting 3G to hit our shores by the end of the year and are always on the lookout for good 3G phones. The LG KF700 comes at number 8 because it's got a great feature set. A 3 megapixel autofocus camera, FM radio which is always important in India, MP3, expandable memory and lots of options for input. A large touch screen, you have a sliding keyboard and of course shortcut keys on the top as well. We think that this will be pretty competitively priced too. At number 7, nope, that isn't the Nokia communicator, although it looks like one. That, in fact, is the LG KT610. It runs on Symbian and is basically a horizontal clamshell phone with a full keyboard, exactly like the Nokia communicator, except this one has GPS and is 3G compliant. So even if Nokia may have given up on the communicator, LG is still going strong. At number 6, it's a typical case of evolution. If you can't survive in your environment, it's time to evolve. And that's what our very own Spice Mobile has done with the launch of the movie phone. As the name suggests, it plays movies. So what's so great about that? Well, you don't have to go through the trouble of converting and saving the file anymore thanks to the optical drive on this phone. It uses a V-Media disc, basically a tiny CD-like disc that can hold up to two and a half hours of video. And to make the experience worth your while, the phone has a nice large 2.8 inch screen. You can even connect the phone to your TV through the headphone jack that doubles up as a TV output port. Very nice. The phone is expected to hit the shelves this summer and about 40 Bollywood films are already available in this mini disc format. And if the manufacturers are to be believed, almost a thousand films will be available soon for a price tag of around 200 rupees per disc.
Well, things are finally heating up over here, but we need to take a small break. But coming up after the break are the top five phones from Mobile World Congress.